Representative Mike Kaufman made national headlines this week with the release of a televised ad stating that he does not care for Donald Trump and if elected, he would stand up to him. The ad is among the, fir among the firsts from a Republican incumbent repudiating the GOP presidential nominee. Uh, David, is, does the ad go far enough to separate Kaufman from Trump? Yes, and it's, it, uh, Kaufman here is aligning himself with the, uh, uh, at the latest, 58 percent may, may grow from there, uh, of American voters who are dissatisfied with the choice between Trump and Clinton and don't like either one. So that is the sensible mainstream American view, and it's to the discredit of many elected Democrats and many elected Republicans that they don't have, that they're not following yet, at least, Pence's lead. Neither one is, is acceptable as president, in, in my view or in the view of uh, a lot of other Americans. Uh, Peggy Noonan's column in the Wall Street Journal tomorrow uh, reintroduces a, a word that we haven't used enough. It's a Greek word called kakistocracy, which means rule by the worst. As opposed to kleptocracy, rule by thieves, kakistocracy is ruled by the worst. Both parties, out of their fields of candidates, each selected by far the worst candidate in terms of character uh, who was on the ballot. And I think Morgan Carroll is making a Mark Uterus type mistake in this continuing effort and her progress now and all this of saying, oh, Kaufman is just like Donald Trump, Kaufman is just like Donald Trump. I don't think that's that's going to go over. And she better come up with, and just like Mark Udall, who was a very accomplished guy, spent all his time warning that, that uh, Cory Gardner was going to take away everybody's condoms. It really didn't have credibility. And she better come up with a better rationale for winning this election than getting people to think that a guy who opposes Trump is just like him. Eric, uh, it seems that the CD6 race is going to take up more political auction than usual. The presidential race in Colorado is likely not going to be tight. Uh, the Senate race may not be tight. So is there more urgency for Mike Kaufman to come out early? And do you think more things like this, where he tries to separate himself from the presidential nominee, are on the horizon? Absolutely. I think this is a harbinger of things to come, not only in the 6th Congressional District, but across the country. Uh, this is both a local story, and it's Mike Kaufman, Morgan Carroll, Colorado 6th Congressional District. But as you indicated in your question, Dominic, it is a national story in terms of Kaufman being one of the first to, in that kind of a public way, use his own advertising dollars to walk away from his own presidential candidate. And uh, it's been an astounding, as I indicated in the first go around, an astounding week or two. You haven't seen anything like this. At some level, Republicans probably deserve it. What's the old line? When you lie down with dogs, you get fleas. They decided to lie down with Donald Trump. Uh, if there was any other candidate, any other sort of mainstream candidate, still very, very conservative, probably more conservative than any president we've had in this country who was heading that ticket, whether it was Mike Pence or Marco Rubio or Scott Walker or John Kasich or, God forbid, Chris Christie, They'd be ahead. I'm not sure I'm with David that they'd be up 10 points, but they'd be up a solid five or six points right now. This country is not standing on its head clamoring to have Hillary Clinton be the president. She is a very weak candidate in many, many respects and a very challenged candidate in many respects. But in all likelihood, if you play these cards out, she will win a resounding victory here in November simply because she is plausible. Maybe distressing, maybe even despicable, but plausible as a president, where the Republicans have not elected, uh, nominated a plausible uh, candidate. And um, I learned a new word from David today, mm -hmm. word of the day, uh, and it's a good word, and uh, it's, it's, it speaks to my viewpoint, I think the viewpoint of the majority of this country. Between French philosophers, Latin American dictators, and now new words, uh, I think there's probably some college credits available to some of our viewers. So you can uh, send your thank you notes to David Copel right here at CIO. Educational television. There you go, yeah. educational television. Uh, Penn, uh, progress now, uh, as, as David alluded to, announced that you know the Democrats aren't fooled by this ad from Kaufman. But do you think uh, unaffiliated are uh, motive, or uh, what do you think affiliates think about the ad? You know, I. I'm not certain what they think. I, I, I don't think that I don't think Mike Coffin can make his campaign simply by saying I'm not happy with Donald Trump. He needs to be for something. I mean, this is the guy who remained part of the birther movement for far longer than most other people did in Congress and certainly in the Colorado delegation. He kept whipping that up and whipping that up and whipping that up until he lost credibility. 
his distancing himself from Trump, I'm convinced, is not a function of his not liking Trump. It's a function of the fact that his district is probably a little better than 20 percent Hispanic, and he's got to distance himself from the presidential candidate who wants to build a wall and send, who assumes that anybody of Mexican extraction is a, is a rapist, a murderer, or a thief, and needs to be sent back in a wall build. And of course, Mexico's going to pay for the wall. We got to remember that. So for Kaufman, this is. Uh, really self-preservation. He's got to do something because he, I think, in the eyes of most Coloradans, has drifted so far right, and now he's got someone who heads the ticket who remarkably is further right and, frankly, a bit unhinged from his moorings and drifting all over the place. So he's got to try to establish himself. That's the first salvo. What's going to be interesting is I don't think it's going to be the last one. I think we're going to see other Republican Congress people around the country base their campaign on, I'm a Republican and I don't like Donald Trump either, but I can't vote for Hillary, or some of them may endorse her. It's going to be interesting to see what their strategy is, but they're going to have to distance themselves from Trump. I'm not convinced that just distancing themselves from Trump is going to save them with an electorate that is probably going to be sick and tired of this guy come November. Patty, what do you think? Do you think we're going to see more ads like this from Kaufman? I think we probably will, and I hate to be the optimist at this table, but I thought the timing of his his ad and the content of it, where he was hook, talking about being a Marine, I mean, certainly there's one thing which Kaufman has been very clear about, which is supporting the troops, service for the country, and I thought the fact that he did it was pretty heartfelt. He didn't have to do it. There are many other ways you can set yourself apart. I think people are going to be camp campaigning as locally as possible. No one wants to tie to probably either of the top uh, candidates on the ticket. but. It was a really strong ad, and I think he'll see by how it's playing. That may be a little more cynical, that he will continue it. But I thought that first one was from the heart. 